story time about the time I almost got jumped. It was in middle school. Middle school, bro, middle school is the time when like I experienced everything. Now, as you know what my 11 is, that's when like gangs and everything got introduced to me. Like, you feel me? That's when the woos and chos and all the extra shit got introduced. That's when cops got involved with things in school and shit like that. What's up, Edot? Is this that's that's when everything happened for me. So I'm I'm what grade was I in? I think I was in. I don't even know, but listen, there was this one girl, some big girl too. I ain't got into some big girls. You know what I'm saying? They, they's not my bot. But she was she was being mad annoying. She was coming to my class. She wasn't even in my class. She was just some other girl that knew the teacher kept coming to my class, annoying me and the teacher. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know that yeah, everybody went there, bro. She was annoying me and the teacher. So I got tight. She was, she left, started banging on the door, blah blah. I say, I say, yo, go to class. She say, such a dumb ass up, nigga. I think I call her fat bitch or some shit. I don't know. I don't even call girls bitches, but I think back. I think that's why. No, I think I just call her fat. I don't know, but yeah, either way, you know, yo, y'all remember like? Well, I don't know about y'all new niggas, but in in at least in my eleven, you know how there's like two doors in the classroom, like there's the front door and the back door. Yeah, so they they blocked the front door, right? She blocked the front door. The teacher blocked the front door to block the face. She went to the back door. She put it and be like this. She like you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I already knew who she was. I was sitting there for the rest of the day in my classroom like, nigga, my life is over. You know what I'm saying? I, she she was intact with the Crips in my school. You feel me? So I was just sitting there like, damn, this finna be my last day. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna live to this motherfucking day. There would have been no Prince Ryan. He ain't best believe that. So throughout the rest of the day, she we like in class, whatever, right? I promise you, I say like 10 minutes before class ended, she comes back to the same door with niggas and she's pointing at me like, yo, we're going to get this nigga out of school. I'm sitting there like, yo, I'm fucked. You know what I'm saying? Because the way we, the way we leave school, right, is like we got to line, we got to line up before we leave school for me. And I'm me. I was always a short nigga in my school. Like, I was always the shortest nigga. So I'm always in the front of the line type shit. So, so right out of the door, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got to line up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Fuck is you talking about? Niggas, niggas talking about some line up. As soon as the bell rang, <laughs> I was going. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, brother man. I was going. I was definitely going. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was going. Some girl tried to jump me. Jump the middle school too shit crazy. Bro, these girls be tweaking. You know what, you know what I hate about? I don't hate none of our girls. But you know what I hate? The fact that they don't handle stuff themselves. If they get in a problem, big brother, big cousin, Uncle, motherfucking father, motherfucking ex boyfriend, boyfriend, fucking, fucking boyfriend from another country, state, from niggas that just want to fuck, that's gonna fight for her. It's like, niggas, you don't even want your stupid ass. You about to fight me for some fucking pussy that you're not even gonna get. Stupid ass, lame ass, dumb ass nigga, dumb ass nigga, what you talking about? Anyways, so me, you know what I'm saying? Me being a smart ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Listen. I'm not Superman. I don't care how much muscles I ever get. I don't care how broad like I look to y'all niggas. I'm not Superman. I mean, you know, I might get a little, <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm not, e, 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 e. that's not me. I'm not listening. At, I, that's not me. I don't know who y'all think niggas is. When niggas start running because other niggas is chasing them, niggas want to call them pussy. That's not how it works, my nigga. I'm one man. I promise you I got out of class. It was like 10 crip niggas, bro. On my, or the mother. On um, bro, on oh, God, I swear to God, it was like ten niggas, bro. I dipped. I remember skipping the stairs. I remember almost falling. I remember pushing niggas out the way. Go get him, get him, get him, get him. Fuck that. Now usually after school, I, I, I come outside and I like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas never go straight home after school. Niggas either wait outside for their friends, chat outside, play around outside, go to the pizza shop, go to the park. You know what I'm saying? No, nigga, I went home. I went a whole different way home. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I ain't Superman, niggas, bro. For like the whole week, my nigga, I was not. I was, I was. I ain't gonna say hiding, but I was dodging. You know what I'm saying? I don't say what you want, but I ain't. I'm not Superman. I don't know how much times y'all want me to say this. I am not Superman. Or oh, God and or their moms be fight niggas too. Yo, yo, bro, yo, it be the moms who come outside with the fishnet. Hair or the bonnets on with like just tights on the slippers be ready to fight for their kid like nigga bring her ass home what are you doing you look just as dumb as her go home go home once you got a job once you got some kids to feed go home you know what i'm saying but yeah that day almost got jumped on god but this but my 11 bro i remember this one fight in my 11 right so i had we had recess or whatever right and i had now in my in my 11 is three academies eagle Phoenix and Falcon, right? It's one school, but it's just three academies to just split niggas up. 
Yeah, but look at Tyler too, right? It was split niggas up, right? Facts. It'll be moms walking outside, bro, ready to fight. I don't God. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Outside with their baby like this. Like this. On their side like this. Talking about, you better beat her up, bro. You have a kid. Go home. Go home. Am I am I lying? Go home. Like, why you outside with your kid? Go home. Niggas be outside. Maybe you outside with the baby like this. You better be that ass. Like, what are you talking about? Goofy ass uh, nigga. Lame ass uh, nigga. Stupid ass uh, nigga. Anyway. Like I was saying, right? There was three academies. Eagle, Phoenix, and Falcon, right? And niggas, I was an Eagle. I'm big Eagle, Eagle Academy. I don't care what niggas say. I be, I, I remember I made a post the other day on Facebook, and I said, not the other day, it was last year. I was like, big Eagle Academy to this day. It's shit. Mad niggas arguing that shit. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying, right? So, I had a problem with a nigga in Phoenix, which I think I'm really cool with now. If, it, if I think it's the right person, but... So we had problems or whatever. I think it's because of football. I played football a lot in that school, right? So tell me how niggas is arguing shit on the field. Oh my god, on oh god, on um, bro. Just me and him started a whole brawl between the two academies. He's in Phoenix. I'm an Eagle. The two, like I guess you could say, best academies I always go at it. I ain't gonna lie. If he was in Falcon, you're down. You're down extremely bad. But um. So me and him start swinging. On oh god, on oh, bro. I all, all of a sudden, boom, like this mad niggas is. Oh, yo, bro, like, I fucking, like, slide out, and I'm looking at, I'm looking out from the, you feel me, from another view, like, what the fuck did we just start, bro, it was like a zombie apocalypse to just niggas just swinging, bro, oh, God, bro, that shit was mad, like, it was movie, like, it was cinematic as hell, like, I don't know what the hell happened, bro, like, I just wanted the one with a nigga, next thing you know, we got 100, 120 versus 120, like, when did this turn into a WWE, bro, like, extended version, like, it was just mad niggas, bro. This, that school was crazy though Like that's why I experienced Like mad shit Like Bro Niggas used to climb Bro the school gates Is probably about mm, 30 feet Right School gates Right Niggas used to climb the gates Just to leave lunch bro Like during recess Like go to the back And climb a 30 foot gate Just to leave Like I put it on God And the deans would be looking around Like Where did so and so go Nigga they gone if I'm climbing 30 feet for a gate, I'm going too. Like, nigga, you're not catching me, bro. And we was right next to Tilden, so, you know, niggas have beef with Tilden sometimes too. I ain't gonna lie. Tilden is Haitianville. No disrespect to all the Haitians and Zoes out there, but I'm just saying that school is Haitian as hell. I performed there because I did still pay and that shit is Haitian as hell. But, yeah, <laughs> to the day, I never really got jumped, though. I seen niggas get jumped. Like I said, I ain't Superman. <laughs> so if you're not my mans, <laughs> I'm not your man. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, my brother, but I'm. I'm not, I, what I'm gonna do? Please don't hurt him. <laughs> See, well, they hurting my ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of story time. Y'all let me know what y'all want to hear. I'm down to speak it all. <laughs> On oh, bro.